The opening round of the Brisbane International continued on Monday with former world number one Caroline Wozniacki amongst those in action as she took on Kazakhstan's Ksenia Purvak for the third time. Wozniacki had won both their previous meetings in straight sets and the eighth seed made an excellent start to this clash. The eighth seed, Caroline Wozniacki. Terrific start to her campaign in the 2013 season out front in round one in Brisbane. But Pervac, who qualified for the main draw here in Brisbane, fought back impressively to take the second set. And she'll have that Yay, chance. The one thing that's been consistent between these two, all three matches they played, including this one, have gone the distance. Full of match points in the decider, Wozniacki looked like she disposal. turned the match in her favour with an early break, but Pervac again responded. The final set went all the way to a deciding tie-break, where Pervac won through to upset Wozniacki. Six, the current two, six, six, three. number 103 in the world takes out the former number one. Senia Pervac prevails, 2-6, 6-3, 7-6 in two hours and 46 minutes to take out the eighth seed in Brisbane. This is the first top 10 match win of Pervac's career. The qualifier meets Ursula Aranska next. Okay, you know it, Rose, so do you also in action on Monday, home hope Sam Stoza. She yeah. met Sweden's yeah. Sofia Arvidsson. The opening set featured two breaks of serve apiece, meaning a tie break, which Arvidsson edged to done. move in front. Yeah, it took some doing, 56 Arvidsson. minutes, but Sofia Arvidsson has finally taken a set off Samantha Stoser. The pair traded breaks early in the second as Stoza endeavoured to get back into the match. That's what it is. But it was Arvidsson who enjoyed the best year of her career in 2012, who broke again right at the end of the second to seal victory and knock out the seventh seed in fine style. The seventh seed dismissed, and Sophia Arvidsson, with her seventh victory versus a top ten opponent, moves into the second round. 7-6, 7-5. Elsewhere in the opening round, one of the standout stars of last season, Germany's Angelique Kerber, made her first appearance of the week in Brisbane against Georgia's Anna Tatishvili. The fourth-seeded Kerber broke three times to win the opener. Well, ominous signs for Tatishvili as Kerber continues to dictate and dominate the early exchanges of this match. But Tatishvili came out on top of five service breaks in the well, second to square here. the match. And you have to give the girl in your so picture so, so much of the credit. She looked dead and buried at 4-2 down in the second set. Kerber rediscovered some of her best tennis in the decider though, coming through in an hour and three quarters to reach round two. But finally, Angelique Kerber has been able to find a way past Anna Tatishvili. She's defeated at 6-2. 4-6-6-2 and it's through to the second round here in Brisbane. You have to say it was a patchy performance from 2012's star performer but she just about raised her game when it mattered most. So she has to rely on her and another 2012 standout performer, Italy's Sara Irani, is also through to the second round thanks to victory over Russia's Olga Puchkova. really can't manoeuvre an opponent around the back of the court when she wants to, as she did in that rally. Irani, who reached the French Open final last season, dominated the opening set, and although the world number 106 pushed her more in the second, the fifth seed still won long. through in straight so sets. After an hour and 15 minutes, the fifth seed is through to the second round. Sara Irani has defeated Olga Pushkova, 6-1, 6-3 and it's through to face Daniela Hanchukova.